Hello everyone. In this video, I will be briefing about chapter 11 case problem four corners. According to the given case, a financial simulation model is provided in an excel sheet that exactly resembles as it is shown in the image here. Now, these are the main elements these are the main uh, attributes based on which these calculations are performed. When we make some changes to these values, it automatically reflects on the total values that are calculated below. Okay. According to this table, it shows that when we make an initial investment of 50,000 based on the annual investment rate, based on the salary growth rate and based on the portfolio growth rate, based on these values, the ending balance means the achieved returns when accumulated with the beginning balance. The ending balance is the final outcome that we can achieve because of the financial planning that we have made. For example, if you plan to invest 50,000 and uh, some kind of recurring investments you make and the investment that you make also provides returns. So when this continues for five years, your 50,000 will become 116,000. Okay. This is the financial model. Now, based on this financial model, we are supposed to perform certain actions, certain activities are to be performed so that we understand how the changes happen to the sheet and what kind of measures are to be changed to achieve our target goal. For example, if you want to make a million in 20 years, so what could be your financial model that can be developed by using the initial model that is given. For example, this is the model that was given to us. So, when we try to fill it for next 20 years, it generates <coughs> sorry. Sorry, this is the actual uh, detail that we have. Now, the target is that for the employee, the target is that in 20 years, the person want to make $1 million. So how we can understand as of now, we have an annual investment rate of 5% and uh, salary growth rate of 5%, portfolio growth rate of 10%. According to question one, we are supposed to identify what should be our investment rate to make sure that in 20 years we are going to get 1 million dollars okay to perform that in data in excel sheet we have what if analysis in that goal seek okay in goal seek this is our set cell which whose value has to be improvised okay so improvised to what 1 million 1 and 6 zeros then by changing which cell by changing annual investment rate cell so now when we try this, it automatically sets the value. Okay. Now we can see that if when all other values are kept common, the annual investment rate increased from 5 to 9.13, which is when if we have 9.13 as investment rate, then the possibility is to get 1 million for the employer. So this is how we calculate what should be our target rate at what uh, rate we are supposed to get in returns to ensure that expected uh, targets can be reached by the financial planners that we can make you that that can be achieved by using the financial simulation models now here for the first answer it is that when the investment rate is 9.13 there is a high possibility for the employer to get 1 million dollars after 20 years of investment okay this is how we calculate using goal seek this is the solution for <coughs> first one first answer okay so now you try to understand uh, now you try to write up your information but the process you followed and how the value was calculated what the value says according to the value it explains that when the investment rate is 9.13 after 20 years, the user, the Tom, will get $1 million. That is the interpretation. 
next we are supposed to create uh, certain models certain simulations certain number of simulations so that <coughs> we test to what extent we get expected 1 million dollar so so the target is the question is that second question is that we are supposed to make changes to these three values and generate some simulations so that this value is set to 1 million okay so in that context when so when we allocate some random variables random values okay the possibility of getting 1 million dollar is no no here so we cannot get for these were random values we cannot get <coughs> 1 million dollar as written so when we try some random values for this model when we tried that for 10000 times using simulation model it was understood that 0.21 probability of achieving 1 million dollars which means that 21% 21% probability is there to achieve 1 million dollars so to make it simple it's a random activity so it cannot be 0. Point, it may be may not be 0. 0.21 so make sure that you write some value between 0. 0.20 and 0. 0.3 0. Uh, 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 maybe like okay you can write any value maybe i say that according to my simulations it was noticed that 0 0.3 probability of having 1 million dollar was achieved so in that way i can write it okay it's my value and my calculations understood so make sure that you write it between 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 of probability okay you, among that you choose any value and mention that probability okay otherwise you can mention it in percentages also there is 30 percent chances of getting 1 million or 35 percent chances of getting 1 million and again you can explain about the possibility of not <coughs> reaching 1 million okay so you, you can say something around 0. Uh, 0. 6 to 0 0.6 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 okay somewhere between this value otherwise 50 percent to 70 percent take any one value and say that the possibility of not achieving the probability of not achieve the set target i hope you understood if, if you are not please try to re-listen re 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 the answer for the question too. Make sure that your numbers are different. Don't rewrite the paragraph that is available. Whatever the information I told you, write uh, from that information. Okay, so that is for second question. For the third question, what can be the recommendation? See, we know that from the analysis, we understood that when uh, annual growth rate, annual investment rate is increased, it is, uh, it is observed that the possibility of getting uh, 1 million as target reaching 1 million is possible okay so when we increase other two values which is growth rate annual portfolio growth rate and salary growth rate then the possibility of attaining or reaching the target 1 million dollar is high okay here uh, what it was explained is the probability of reaching 1 million when the uh, annual investment rate is 10 percent approximately 10 percent the possibility is 0 0.32 make make it 0 0.35 35 36 37 something and when the annual uh, investment rate is uh, 13 percent or 14 percent the possibility of attaining 1 million is very high okay see when we increase the range of uh, annual investment rate so if your investment rate is between 0 and 10 percent the possibility of attaining 1 million dollar is 0 0.32 percent means 32 percent so when the value range is increased from 0 to 13 percent the possibility of attaining 1 million dollar is 75 percent so you try to re-understand re-listen the same answer again you try to uh, <coughs> explain that when these values 
annual investment rate, annual salary rate, salary growth rate, annual portfolio growth rate. When these are optimal and when they have appropriate value, the possibility of getting or reaching the target is very high. In the fourth question, what they did is they increased the number of years. In, till now, we uh, we tried to attempt an analysis on 0 to 20 years of uh, period. Now, the period is increased to, to 25%. So, echo, ma, like, see, need not to mention any values. So, here, for, based on the context, we can say that when the investment period increases and the rate of return increases, the value definitely, whatever the value we get, that will be increased. So as the total period increases, the probability will increase to maximum 0 0.99, 0 0.98, 97, anything. So as the period from 20 to 25 years, it is increased, the value of the portfolio increases and the possibility of getting a reaching target value will also increase. According to the simulation that we have performed, the value is 0 0.99 probability, which means that 99% chances of getting 1 million dollars as returns okay so you try to focus on the longevity and its impact on reaching the target when the longevity of financial investments are high the possibility of reaching the target will also high so it concludes that long term investment always creates financial advantages Based on the analysis, we are supposed to provide certain recommendations. So, you take any two recommendations from this and rewrite that. See, most of the recommendations that mentioned here are from my explanation that I already provided you. And finally, try to give conclusion and add reference. So, that's it from my side. All the best team. Give your best. Thank you.